In the blink of an eye, residents at the Brookview Apartments in Cheswold were running out of their homes to safety instead of into them. Where I am, the entire roof just, the wind just ripped it off. Pieces of the building dangling, and in other spots, there's no roof to be seen. Joan Davenport is emotional, reliving the moment when the storm rolled through. And so I went to close the windows and pull the blinds up, and the ceiling started falling, and I started running, and I got hit on the head by one of a piece of the ceiling, but I was crawling from under it because the beams were coming down. A look from Sky Team 11 shows how the powerful winds actually uplifted the roof, leaving parts of it collapsed. You actually see into some of the residents' homes. I could hear the pressure and the windows started shaking and then I saw the roof. The roof sort of lifted up like on the front porch and then it cracked open into the house and I could see the light. So I just ran for the back. Running for their lives. Luckily, no one was hurt but the damage remains. It's just really bad and now I have nothing right now. And I don't know when I can get back in to try to get anything. Or if their personal belongings are even salvageable. Well, there's water coming through the living room. Uh, my kitchen's flooded. Um, it started to go back into my office, leaking through the ceiling. The Realty spokesman says about 15 to 20 people were affected by the storm damage. Just as the sun came out after the storm, many of the residents are trying to see the light in this dark time. I'm just thankful, you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to church on Sunday. A Red Cross official tells me that many of the residents do have insurance and some of them were able to go in and grab a thing or two. The Realty spokesman says to me, after 45 years, this complex has never seen anything like this. Reporting live in Northwest Baltimore, Lacey Griffith, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, Lacey, thank you. Quite a day for those folks. The storm system caused flooding across much of the Baltimore region. Ruxton Road in Baltimore County, for example, covered in water. And on the other side of the county, drivers had to navigate water covered roads in the Middle River area. Area. For part of the day, we were under a severe thunderstorm warning, and right afterwards, we saw clear skies.